Hey there and welcome to the daily Manchester United news show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Bruno Fernandes has sent message to Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Manchester United captain Bruno Fernandes has revealed that he has already spoken with Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Inouyes over his future at the club. The Portugal international has been United's best creative player for the past four years and he continues to remain an undisputed starter. There has been some talk of interest from Saudi Arabia and him, but the 29-year-old is clearly focused on the project ahead under the new management. In an exclusive interview with Ebola, Fernandez revealed that he has already had a meeting with the new owners and has a clear plan to stay at the club. The playmaker added that he wants to be part of a project that will have everything to compete with Manchester City, Arsenal and Liverpool for the title, he said, as quoted by Fabrizio Romano. I have already had a meeting with the new owners. They want to meet with the players and have already done so individually. And that's exactly the message I passed on. I want to stay here. I want to be part of a project that has feet, legs, torso and head. Everything we need to be able to compete with Manchester City, Arsenal and Liverpool, who are the clubs that have been in the best shape. Fernandez has not been at his best in the current campaign. He has still registered 8 goals and 9 assists from 38 appearances across all competitions. There is currently no competition for the Portuguese in the number 10 role. Mason Mount could compete with him in the future, but he has yet to prove himself. The former Chelsea man has had an injury plagued debut campaign. He only recently made his comeback after a fourth month layoff with a calf problem. Hence, Fernandez is an undisputed starter for the Red Devils. He will be hoping that Ratcliffe will add more quality such that United can challenge for the title. Man United doctors left red faced after failing to detect Casimero's hamstring injury. Manchester United doctors were left red-faced after failing to detect a minor hamstring issue for midfielder Casimero, according to Trivela. The Brazil international recently missed the FA Cup quarter-final against Liverpool after he picked up an injury in the lead-up to the encounter. It's now revealed that Casimero felt an issue in his hamstring while training. United's doctors examined him but did not find any noticeable problem. He was given the green light to play, but Casimero decided to take a second opinion from a personal doctor in Barcelona who found a small injury. The midfielder suffered a lengthy hamstring injury earlier this term. Trivella claimed that he could have suffered a recurrence had he played on Sunday. The 32-year-old has had a difficult campaign with the Red Devils. He has missed 20 games for club and country after picking up two separate injuries. Casimero has formed a solid midfield partnership with Kobe Maino this year and the fans will be hoping that he will recover by the end of the month. The midfielder's decision to consult his personal doctor was a blessing in the squeeze. Otherwise, he could have suffered a serious hamstring injury in a high-intensity game. Questions must be raised over how the injury went undetected. The club's medical staff are very qualified and such mistakes should not happen in the near future. One wrong step could have ended the campaign for Casimero. United can ill afford more setbacks as they look to make a light push for the Champions League. They are nine points behind fourth placed Aston Villa with a game in hand. They are trailing Spurs by six points. United should be optimistic about lip frogging them. Michael Sylvester believes Marcus Rashford would thrive in League One, but expect forward to stay at Old Trafford. Marcus Rashford has suffered a disappointing season at Manchester United, leading to question marks over his future at Old Trafford. The forward was expected to kick on after an outstanding goal return last year helped catapult United into the top four and break their six-year trophy drought. However, after securing a bumper new contract, Rashford's struggles throughout this campaign have left Eric Ten Hag and United fans frustrated. 
Rumors have long been circling regarding a move to Paris Saint-Germain and Rashford's inconsistency this year may have Inouye discussing the option of cashing in on the player. Interviewed by ggrecon.com, former United defender Michael Sylvester has had his say on the forward's future. Sylvester believes that Rashford would light up League One should he make the switch to Paris and could be the missing piece to the French side finally securing the Champions League title. He said the following, It would be great for PSG and League One in general if Marcus made the move to Paris and I'm sure he would be successful there if the transfer came to fruition. He would thrive in League One if he made the switch and he would play in an exciting team full of young, talented players. PSG are a club that are hungry for trophies, and they have got ambitions of not only winning the league and the cup, but the Champions League most importantly. However, Sylvester would be shocked to see a move happen, given Rashford's affiliation to United and expect him to stay at Old Trafford for the long term, he said. I believe Marcus would only want to leave if he feels as if he's being pushed away and not being considered by the manager and the senior management at the club. Otherwise, I can't see him leaving this summer because he came through the ranks at Manchester United and he is a Manchester lad. If he feels considered and he's shown the love, then I don't believe he will be interested in leaving Old Trafford. Sir Jim Ratcliffe has made a decision on Man United manager Eric Ten Hag's short-term future. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has been back to stay in charge of the club until at least the end of the season, according to The Guardian. Man United have struggled to maintain consistency in performances this campaign. They are facing a daunting task to finish in the top four Premier League spot to secure Champions League football for next season. The last three months have been better in terms of results for the Red Devils. The most recent thrilling 4-3 win over Liverpool has also fueled positivity around the club. New co-owner of Man United, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, has been so far impressed by Ten Hag. However, the manager has received no guarantees that he will remain in his position next campaign. A defeat against Liverpool at Old Trafford could have hampered Ten Hag's chances to remain as Man United manager. Knocking out our rivals with an injury time winner has definitely assisted his fortunes. Few reports suggested that the British billionaire has settled on Gareth Southgate as his preferred replacement for Ten Hag. We believe that would be a terrible idea. Southgate has failed to win trophies even with England's star-studded squad. Ten Hag showed promise in his debut season at Old Trafford, but his team has failed to maintain consistency. To be fair to the Dutchman, recurring injuries to key players have not helped him. Diogo Dallo, Bruno Fernandes and Alejandro Garnacho are the only three outfield players who have not missed a game due to an injury this season. He has a strong case to demand another season at the Theatre of Dreams. However, Champions League qualification might play a key role in the final decision. Man United have been collecting information from outset on Joao Neves. Manchester United have been collecting information on Benfica midfielder Joao Neves ahead of a summer move for his services, according to Ojogo. The Red Devils are likely to invest in multiple positions this summer and a new defensive midfielder could be signed amid the inconsistent performances of Casimiro. The Brazilian has had an injury-plagued campaign with United. He is currently sidelined with a minor hamstring injury sustained in the lead-up to the Liverpool game. The hierarchy could contemplate the prospect of selling him this summer. It appears the club are considering Neves as a potential successor to the 32-year-old. Ojogo claim that United have been collecting information from the outlet on Neves as they look to beat competition from Bayern Munich, Paris Saint-Germain and Liverpool for the wonder kid. The Red Devils have received a huge boost in the pursuit of the midfielder with super agent Jorge Mendes putting contract talks on hold with Benfica. 
the Portuguese outfit were planning to hand a significant raise to Navas' weekly salary while increasing his current release clause from 120 million euros to 150 million euros. Casimero has struggled to find the same consistency this term. The Brazilian has become injury prone with multiple muscular issues. It has been reported that he could consider a move to Saudi Arabia in the summer. Navas would be a perfect candidate to succeed Casimero in our opinion. He is much better with the ball at his feet and also possesses strong defensive skills. He has completed 90% of his passes in the Primera Liga this term with an average of two tackles and 5.9 duels. He has also made 6.5 recoveries per outing. The youngster has also completed 60% of his dribbles. He has been good with his discipline too and has received only four yellow cards over the campaign. He currently has a release clause worth 120 million euros in his deal. United may need to pay the entire fee considering the competition for his services this summer. Tottenham Hotspur represent a major obstacle for Manchester United's pursuit of Rafinha. Manchester United target Rafinha is well liked by Tottenham Hotspur and they will challenge the Old Trafford side for the winger's signature. United have lacked wing depth all season with Mason Greenwood and Jadon Sancho currently on loan and it's looking increasingly likely that both of their futures will be away from Old Trafford. Anthony has also massively struggled for form and in spite of his last gasp winner against Liverpool, Ahmad Diallo also faces a very uncertain future at the club as of this moment. Consequently, United have been linked to the Brazil international who Barcelona are prepared to sell this summer to ease their financial troubles. Rafinha has 4 goals and 7 assists. In 21 league matches for the Catalan in this campaign, the tricky winger has also previously revealed that he was very close to a move to Manchester in 2022 before his transfer to La Liga came to fruition later in that summer. Just this week, he was reportedly the subject of an agreement in principle between the Red Devils and the Blaugrana to bring the player to Manchester for 50 million euros. This seemed unlikely, but now Spanish paper Sport via Team Talk have claimed that Spurs have maintained an interest in Rafinha. However, both United and Tottenham face a stiff competition from further afield as the Catalan club have also reportedly received a proposal of 80 million euros for the winger from an unnamed Saudi Arabia team according to the report. The Liga champions would no doubt jump at such a fee but the difficulty would lie in convincing him to make the move. It's reported that Rafinha's desire is to continue at the camp now, but the reality is that Barca will have to get tried of many players this summer. The race for a top 4 finish between United and Tottenham may just take on another dimension, as whoever manages to finish with guaranteed Champions League football will have the upper hand to recruit the Brazilian. Man United willing to pay 50 million euros for 27-year-old Brazilian star. Manchester United remain keen on signing the Juventus defender Gleison Bremer at the end of the season. A report from Toto Sport claims that Manchester United want to sign the 27-year-old Brazilian defender and they are prepared to pay around 50 million euros for him. However, the Italian outfit will hold for a fee in excess of 60 million euros. It will be interesting to see if Manchester United are prepared to pay the asking price for the Brazilian defender. He has established himself as a key player for Juventus in the Italian league and he has the quality to do well in the Premier League as well. It's no secret that Manchester United need defensive reinforcement. Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans 
could be on their way out of the club soon and they will have to be replaced advocately. Rafael Varane and Lisandro Martinez are the only reliable defenders at the club right now. Manchester United have looked vulnerable defensively this season and they will need to tighten up if they want to get back into the Champions League and push for trophies once again. Signing a reliable performer like Bremer could prove to be a wise decision. The Brazilian will look Look to test himself at the highest level and a move to Manchester United could be ideal for him. Also, the reported asking price seems like a premium. The 27-year-old has the ability and the experience to justify the outlay in the coming seasons. Bremer has already shown his quality in Italy and he will look to test himself in English football if the opportunity presents itself. He has a contract with the Italian club until the summer of 2028 and it's fair to assume that Manchester United will have to break the bank if they want to sign him. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.